Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Did you know that data science is projected to be one of the fastest growing fields in the next decade? And it is not just me saying this. News articles, job reports and industry experts all are saying this. Big companies like Google, Amazon and Netflix rely highly on data scientists to make sense of massive amount of data. According to reports, the demand for data science jobs is expected to increase by 41% by 2031. So if you are thinking about a career in data science, then 2025 is the perfect time to begin. But you are not sure where to start? Then this video is here to guide you. Starting your journey in data science can feel overwhelming. With so many online courses, tutorials and blogs, it is hard to know what really matters. You might be asking yourself, do I need a PhD in maths to become a data scientist? Or which programming language should I learn first? Or can I do this without a background in computer science? But here's the truth. You do not need to know everything to get started. In this video, I will break it all down for you, step by step. No more confusion, no more delays. Whether you are a complete beginner or looking to switch careers, this video is perfect starting point for your data science journey. So do not forget to save the video. In this video, I will tell what is data science, what does a data scientist do, data science roadmap, which I have divided into two parts, skills required to become a data scientist and the learning resources you would be needing data science entry job roles and selling. So let's understand data science with the of Netflix. Imagine you love watching comedy movies on Netflix. What happens the next time you open it? Netflix suggests you more comedy movies, right? But how does it do that? Netflix studies your watching habits and patterns. Like what type of content do you watch more? Which movies or TV shows do you prefer? It collects this data, analyzes it and then recommends similar content that you might enjoy. The goal is to keep you watching for longer. The more time you spend on Netflix, the more business they make. And this is all possible because of data science and data scientists who work behind the scenes. But it is not just Netflix. Think about any platform like Facebook, Instagram or Snapchat or e-commerce websites like Amazon or Flipkart. They all want the same thing to keep you engaged on their platform. They track your activity, analyze it and show you content or products you will like based on your interests. For example, Instagram suggests posts or reels you might enjoy or Amazon recommends products similar to what you have searched for. This is just one way data science is used. Businesses use data science to solve a lot of complex problems, make better decisions, improve customer ex experiences and increase profits. And this is exactly what data scientists help businesses do. They collect data, analyze data, process it, and then finally get useful insights from the data. So what are useful insights? Hain kya? Well, useful insights are basically pieces of information that can help a business improve its platform or offer better services to its customer. For example, a data scientist at Netflix builds algorithms to recommend movies you will enjoy. And at Amazon, they work on predicting what products you might want to buy next. And on Instagram, they help improve your feed. So you see posts and reels that match your interests. A data scientist uses his or her mathematical and analytical skills to help companies grow their businesses. Yeah, now I know you must be thinking, can I become a data scientist only if I have a technical background? So let me tell you that it is not true. You do not need to have a technical background to become a data scientist. Anyone from any stream can become a data scientist. There are four skills required to become a data scientist. First is domain knowledge. Second is math skills. Third, computer science skills and communication skills. Now the question is how and from where can you learn them? So to answer this question, I have created this step-by-step -step data science roadmap for you. It has information regarding key skills needed, recommended resources and practical steps to become a data scientist. So watch this video till the end. Let's begin. The first step of this roadmap is to learn a programming language. The field of data science has two major programming languages. One is Python and the other is R. Out of these two languages, Python is more popular as it is one of the simplest programming languages and it has great libraries and resources. So to become a good data scientist, you will need to learn the basics of Python. That is, learn about variable, if, else and loops. 
After learning these basics, you will also need to learn about two libraries from Python, which are NumPy and Pandas. These libraries will help you in performing mathematical operations, which you can easily analyze large data easily and quickly. Analyze kar the second step is to learn some mathematical skills like statistics, algebra, calculus, and probability. Now I get that some of you might be thinking, but I haven't studied maths after 10th or 12th class. Is that a problem? Well, the good news is to become a data scientist, you do not need to be a math free genius. But wait, do I really need to study a lot of extra topics? Well, you will only need to cover two to three extra topics and they are pretty easy to learn with a bit of effort. To help you out, here is the table of the subtopic that you need to focus on from these four. The third step is after learning these math basics, we will move on to the third step, which is data visualization. Data visualization allows you to present complex data in simple, easy to understand format by using graphs and charts. It becomes easier for people to see patterns, trends and key insights in the data. For that, you should know data visualization tools like Power BI or Tableau. Moreover, a basic knowledge of Excel is also required in order to manage large data well. And while we are talking about data management, one thing you should know is unorganized data will give you incorrect results. And to make sure that your data is well organized, fourth thing you need to learn is about database management systems like SQL. SQLs help you in managing large set of data, extracting data whenever required, and ensuring that data is organized for machine learning algorithms. And moving to the fifth step, which is machine learning. There are four types of machine learning which you should know about. If you want to learn data science for your college academic projects, then it is enough to just learn the beginner things in data science. But if you want to build your long-term career, then you should learn professional or advanced things also. There are plenty of resources and videos available online, and it is confusing for someone where to start learning all the concepts. So as a beginner, go step by step. Step one, begin by enrolling into a data science course. You can enroll in Intermashala's data science course with a placement guarantee. It is a six month certification course that will teach you all the skills you need to become a good data scientist through live and on demand classes and as well as industry level projects. And the best part is that this course comes with 100% guaranteed stipend of 40,000 rupees. So if you want to know more about this course, then you can check out the link in the description box below. Now the step two, that is work on projects. Now after learning all this knowledge, the most important step is to apply this knowledge by working on projects like movie recommendation system, spam email detection or email product recommendation and more. You can find more lists on the screen. Always pick an online course that offers you a chance of working on industry level projects. By mentioning these projects on your resume will help you show experience of data science to the recruiters. You can use websites like GitHub and Kaggle to create your own data science portfolio. For more data science projects and ideas, check out our blog link in the description box below. The step three would be network with data science professionals. For that, connect with professionals on LinkedIn or you can also join Data and AI Club of Intentional Clubs to participate in discussions, attend webinar and to showcase your work samples. And step four is to gain real world experience with internships. I will recommend you to do data science internships as well as to get hands-on experience in the field. You can easily find them on Intermanshala. Just mention data science in the profile section and you will see many relevant internships. And then start applying to entry-level data science jobs. Data science is a broad field that offers exciting career opportunities in various domains like given here. And once you have the experience, apply to entry-level job set in Tonshala. For that, click on jobs and enter profile and location. More than 1000 job openings will be visible. I will suggest read the job descriptions, find out the skills companies are looking for in their ideal candidates and learn those skills. I have also collated most popular job roles in data science average salary range in India. Remember, at the beginning, skill is what that matters. And with that, we have reached the end of this video and I hope it will help you to take the first step towards becoming a data scientist. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more such informative videos. All the best.